What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here for another Tottenham update. Sound like a broken record literally with all the repeating news over and over again. Um, but look, let's get into it. Let's start off with Calcio Mercato and they say Tottenham are really trying to sign Juventus forward Paolo Dybala with the image rights not being an issue anymore. But Spurs still need to convince the Argentinian of the move. Nah, come on, man. I said this is a this is like beating a dead horse. This story, it's not going to happen anymore. We definitely had an opportunity, but I think we've missed the boat. We've gone for other targets. Um, he's not a priority anymore. I don't feel a lot. Obviously, he'd be a fantastic signing, and of course, I want Paolo Dybala. But I just don't feel like it's feasible. There's wages, the amount he's going to cost um, in this current market when we have to sell to buy as well. I can't see it. To be honest, I think you're completely right in what you're saying but it's like these rumors that won't go away and sometimes you're just thinking maybe something could happen i think we'd have to maybe look again if we sell delhi for big money that could be a possibility but a lot remains to be seen in the summer uh, of how how it goes and he's going to command big big wages i feel so you know at least going to be our highest paid earner. he won probably more than kane's on at the moment less kane signs a new Why'd contract so he won 250 grand a week at you least think so? i think so why would he want that much because that's what he's it's similar to what he's on now isn't it I thought he's only on 150, 100, 150. Maybe he'll, go, maybe he'll say 200. Still big wages. And, and like then he's, he, not, he's could, hardly getting in the Juventus team this season. Well, he's going to have. He's going to cost at least, what, 50, 60 million? What, with one year left in his contract? Oh, he has one year left? Yeah. Mm, Signs sound more like <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's got one year left. Let me just double check that. But... but um, I don't, I don't know. think it's as unlikely as 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 you're saying because it's, it's strange why we're the only club linked with him, only one for now. But wait till the summer. For the two years. Um, yeah, his contract. No, Man ends, United were heavily linked with him. It's true at the time. Yeah, his contract ends in 2022. So yeah, one more year left. He have he have one more year left in the summer. Um, maybe is that not, not going to go for big bucks uh, with one more year left? We'll have to wait and see. I'm sure we're not the first in the queue. And I think we have other priorities. So as long as we get the others done. I'm, look, I'm, I'd love Dybala. I'd be very, very happy. But I just one, I'd, I don't see it happening right now. But we'll see. Maybe if, if an opportunity arises in the summer when we've sold some big players like Delhi and whatnot for big money, we've got in the centre-backs and no one's come in for him, then I think maybe we'll have an opportunity. But it still seems very unlikely. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Uh, these are quotes from Alistair Gold. And uh, the first bit from Ali Gold says, the figure wanted by Daniel Levy for Tottenham's naming rights for the new stadium is much, much higher than the reported 250 million. And Daniel Levy is looking at more in line with the world record deals. That sounds, <laughs> that that sounds, sounds like, like that it. sounds like Levy. It's very, very much a Levy update there. Um, and yeah, it makes complete sense. Uh, even though there's been a pandemic, I still think he'll be he'll be wise to wait a bit and try and get a maximum fee rather than rush into an aiming right still right now um, and go for a lower fee. So it didn't uh, I think that makes more sense mm. um, than compromise um, on um, Daniel Lee on the naming rights issue. So that makes complete sense on that front. And then he goes on to talk about Marcel Sabitzer and he says Sabitzer is one of Tottenham's main targets this summer but they're going to face a big fight for his services. And Julian Nagelsmann as well has come out with a few quotes. And he says, uh, on uh, Sabitzer, so this is, he says, nothing is certain yet, neither in one direction nor the other. His contract runs until 2022. It is normal that there are many clubs looking at him. It so, makes sense. And yeah. with Nagelsmann, nothing certain in terms of him as well, probably. True. Maybe he's talking about himself. I, re I reckon if we... if. If it happens in the summer, we do sack Mourinho and bring in Nagelsmann. Obviously, I think it increases our chances of getting Sabitzer through the door, probably. Um, in do you think uh, a player like Sabitzer would love to play under a manager like Jose Mourinho? Or? Yeah, he probably, he probably would as well. But I also think um, it's, um, Nagelsmann will be a manager he knows and that a club, a club like Spurs would be a new challenge in a new league, but with a manager that he knows he likes to play under. So it could increase our chances in that sense. And maybe Nagelsmann would be more insistent on someone like Sabitzer than maybe Mourinho is, but I'm sure Mourinho really wants him. Look, he's a class player, and he's definitely one we should definitely be pushing for uh, next season. Um, in terms of, he released another article today, Alistair Gold, in terms of um, Tottenham's priorities, looking for a centre-back in the summer as well. 
and he was um so he said football london understands tottenham are looking to sign a new central defender um for the back four as a priority in the summer um he also said that um not only are they looking for um, um a new um a center back he said tottenham are looking to bring in not only a, um, a leader for the back line but also if possible someone with premier league experience and he's named a few um center backs that he apparently we are uh, monitoring situations or one of them joe Chim anderson is one player tottenham have looked at a number of times in the past year he says and uh, who the the, the day who turns 25 in may is impressed on loan while at fulham and has taken the captaincy armband many many times so he's definitely one we're looking at another one we're looking at with potential leadership capabilities who tottenham admire is lewis dunk from brighton um who could potentially be relegated um, at the end of the season, but it looks like they're staying up. But he does turn 30 later this year, so he's not exactly um, a fr- uh, that kind of fresh centre-back, but he's still one with Premier League experience. And I, th- I actually think Lewis Dunk is decent, but I don't think... Um, I don't know if he's the one easy answer. Out of uh, those two, I think Joe Trim Anderson's the one for me. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather Anderson. I love, definitely like the look of him. Um, another player on Tottenham's radar is Fiorentina centre back Nicolo Nicolo Milenkovic, um, who has um, had a lot of um, ca- he's had a few captaincy appearances for Fiorentina Apparently this he's season. Got a Twenty million price tag as well, so he's well within our price range. And also with just twelve months left to run on his contract as well, with, um, after the season ends, and that could give uh, Tottenham a bit, a bit of wiggle room on the price. However, he says the main problem would be the risk element of the deal for him with the Serbian having no experience of the Premier League, although it did not prevent. Tottenham trying to go for Milan Skriniar um, last summer um, and he talks about Skriniar he says that um, Tottenham held talks obviously into Milan in the summer but um, were about 12 million away um, from from the fee and with 12 million man just put it in he says with Skriniar now a uh, Back in this, back in Conte's good books for Inter and starting every game, now that price is only going to go up and not down. So it looks like the Skriniar boat has well and truly sailed. But he also mentioned Sven Botman in the Ant Investor Guard links, and he said those are believed to be wide of the market at the moment. And he said, um, although maybe later in the window, Tottenham will be testing the waters for a number of centre backs. Um, at the moment, Sven Botman and Ant Investor Guard are not on the list of uh, players they want. But those are. In those are the apparently centre backs we're interested in going to the summer. So, but he said one of the one we'll have to sell before we buy, and we one of the centre backs we're gonna he have said to sell that last summer as well. He did say that last summer that didn't turn out to be true, but he does say um, one of the centre backs will need to leave this summer. That's what he claims. Well, see you later, Eric Dyer. Hopefully, then um, let's move on. There has been some more from Fabrizio Romano, and he's talking about Harry Kane leaving Tottenham Hotspur, and he says it will be extremely difficult. Spurs are planning for a future with Harry Kane uh, and are set to offer him a new contract this summer. Yeah, makes sense. Whether he'll sign it is another thing. But I th- of course we want him to sign that contract. And of course we're going to offer it to him to try and um, make give that extra certainty that he'll stay. Mm. But maybe Kane will be wary of it and we'll, we'll see if he signs. So I think a lot depends on how we end the season. And if we end it in a positive way looking forward, then maybe he'll more likely to sign. But at the moment, um, if we end the season how we are now, I don't know if he will. Um, got some quotes from Leo Messi. Um, and he's talking about coaches that he respects that he hasn't played for. And the quote is, it has to be two. Although I respect all football coaches, I re- reserve special respect for Jose Mourinho and Alex Ferguson. So that, is that is that Messi done deal to Tottenham this summer? Yeah, then? he's coming. Exactly. As long as we have Mourinho, <laughs> we have a chance. No. Um, look, Jose... He's on I, a free... Look, Jose has, uh, you know, he he was part of that. He was managing into in that famous um, game at the Nou Camp when they Barcelona couldn't score against ten men. That was like a really special game, and I'm sure he has memories of that. And you know, Jose, that 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 says it all about uh, the best player, one of the best, if not the best player ever to play the game, having such respect for Jose. And I think um, that says a lot for me. But. Mm. A lot of people just say, well, if Winks doesn't think he's good or if Sissoko doesn't think he's good, he should be shipped out the door or something. (laughs) All right. um, That's it for the Tottenham update. Let me just run through the internationals that happened last night. Wales beat Czech Republic 1-0. Gareth Bale getting assist and playing 90 minutes. Joe Roden playing 90 minutes and was a fantastic block, match-saving block right at the death last minute of the game to save the three points for Wales. Um, Belgium went on to beat Belarus 8-0. Uh, Toby Alderweireld playing 90 minutes and getting an assist for Christian Benteke's goal. Um, Holland beating Gibraltar 7-0. Stephen Bergwijn being an unused sub. 
Um, Ivory Coast beating Ethiopia 3-1. Serge Aurier carrying on his amazing international break with another assist um, and playing 90 minutes as Ivory Coast captain. And last but not least, Ireland drawing 1-1 with Qatar. Troy Parrott coming on after 22 minutes and completing the game. Um, and then let's just run through who's going to be playing tonight. So you've got France away at Bosnia tonight. So Hugo Lloris, Tongi and Dombele and Moussa Soko all in the squad. Denmark away to Austria with Pierre-Emil Hoybier. Um, England at home to Poland tonight. Eric Dyer and Harry Kane obviously in the squad. And then it's um, the last game of England under 21's group stage game. It's very, very unlikely that they qualify with Jaffet Tanganga, Ryan Sessnon, Oli Skip in the squad. And then Maxim Paskotzi um, playing for Estonia tonight as well. 19, 18 year old uh, kid from the Tottenham Academy. So um, a lot to look forward to tonight. Join us for our England. England and chill tonight as England play Poland, as I mentioned. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think of all the news we spoke about today. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.